is Ted Gambardella, and I want to tell you what the martial arts are going to look like 10 years in the world. Let's start with the uh, real martial arts schools. Number one, they'll be the second, still be the second largest participation sport for children in America, only after soccer. Number two, they'll still teach your children great lessons that will last them a lifetime. Number three, they will still have great ladies teaching and running schools. Number four, they will still have huge tournaments where everybody has a great time and no one really gets hurt. Number five, they will begin to use more and more video training in class, allowing teachers from all over the world to teach their students via streaming on television. Number six, they'll still be the best sport to have young children involved in. Number seven, they'll still have great students who in turn become great teachers. Number eight, they'll teach respect and moral character. Number nine, they will still honor senior teachers. They'll call them master and grandmaster. And number 10, they will be growing in every country in the world. Now let's look at what's going to happen to mixed martial non-art. Number one, it will get smaller and smaller as training becomes more and more violent and difficult to practice without getting hurt. For example, Dominic Cruz has been injured for the last two years. Number two, it will not figure out how to get nine times more children than adults in their class, which equates to money. It will still look like a boxing gym. Number three, it will not be an art it will still not be an art in 10 years, but a fighting class. You could walk in with a tonfa in your hand to any mixed martial arts class, and no one would know what you were carrying. Number four, it will not honor their senior teachers and elders because they don't honor them when they're fighting. Old fighters should just go away. Just ask the current fighters now if that's not true. Number five, it will be taken over by the government to regulate its fights as more and more people get killed and permanently injured. Number six, women will become more involved and get hurt much more than the men. Ladies were meant to be loved and treated with respect, not punched in the head. Number seven, it will, get, it will begin to use more and more real karate techniques. Yes, real karate kicks and shootos and punches and strikes actually do work. Number eight, it will be outlawed in many areas because of the non-rules that they allow their fighters to use. Some areas across the world have no rules at all. They, they just punch each other and kill each other barehanded with no rules at all. Number nine, it will lose its glamour, and Dana White will finally go away and take Joe Rogan with him. And number 10, we will actually have a world champion that hasn't lost an average of 25% of his fights. Just check it out. Most fighters and champions today have a losing record of 25% or more. Let me know your thoughts, and keep it to the points that I've discussed, not to the fact that you hate me. If you hate me, why are you watching? What? Stop watching.